How's it going everyone? Welcome back. I'm back with another video today. Uh, this is another kind of project we got going on here. Um, as you guys know, a few years ago I built a, a old pop-up shack, converted it into a hunting shack, ice fishing shack. Got rid of that because I never used it and uh, kind of needed something. Um, started deer hunting since then and uh, kind of needed something for when it's real cold out. Uh, the ground blinds and stuff just weren't cutting it. Uh, for keeping the cold off me anyway so went and bought this this past winter um the guy that i bought it from not very honest at all uh kind of a scam artist unfortunately he only lives like a quarter mile from me um pretty well-known guy here in the community and he's a pretty big pos if you ask me anyhow but uh that's neither here nor there um the part that he was dishonest about was this window here is leaky when I bought it, uh, he had a price on it, and he had a, a flip-over ice shack inside of it that all you could do was open the, the door here to take a look in, but that flip-over shack was, like, covering this whole wall down here on the floor. And um, I got whatever. I'll give you the money for it. Didn't see anything wrong with it. I'm like, but I don't want the, the flip-over shack. He's like, well, you come back with the cash tomorrow because I had to go to the bank, and it was the weekend. And... Um, the next day would have been Monday. He's like, you come back with the cash tomorrow. Um, I'll have it cleaned out for you and everything. Like, okay. And so I went and got the cash, brought it to him, paid him, and um, brought it home. And realized that the lower part of this wall here was all black from mold and whatever, that window leaking. So I went and stuck a ton of money replacing all the paneling throughout here, replacing some studs and the ceiling. I went through the whole thing and and uh, fix it up, caulked all the windows very well. And now I see we've had a ton of rain, as you guys know, um, everywhere in the Midwest, but uh, especially Northwest, well, I'm not, I'm not gonna say especially Northwest Wisconsin, but where I'm at, we've had a ton of rain too. And uh, that window's leaking again. And you can, I don't know if you can see, down here it's kind of discolored a little bit. So, I got the dehumidifier going in here right now. The other day I, I took a channel and uh, kind of screwed it to the side of the roof out there because the there's a steel roof on this and it, the guy that built it, it sticks out, you know, overlaps the roof, you know, the roof overlaps the wall a couple inches like it should on the one side, but then he cut it real short on the other side and the water basically runs right down the wall. Well, I thought that siliconing really well around all these windows would fix the problem apparently it wasn't enough so i put a channel out there anyways to kind of work as a gutter to uh divert the the water it's about all i could do other than uh putting a new steel roof on which i don't want to do uh, but i might have to because it it's going to rot my studs again we're going to see if this works anyhow i got the dehumidifier out here running right now but uh we'll flip the camera around we'll give you guys a little better tour anyhow As you can see, this is the front. This is the tongue end. Um, it's kind of a mess in here right now. Like I said, I've been doing a little work. Uh, a lot of these, or three out of the four windows in here are just double pane. They don't open. Double pane's nice because, you know, they're not going to sweat or anything, really. So uh, those three are just double pane. They don't open. And then the one in the back end is a slider. So I'll be shooting out of there for deer hunting. This has also got some holes in the floor for ice fishing, which I wanted to replace with actual like ice hole buddies or something like that. Um, these will work, but uh, I just got to find something for sleeves. These twist off and then there's the ground down there. These will work just fine, but I'll have to find something different for sleeves. But I'll probably go with ice hole buddies at some point. It's just I've been pumping so much money into this thing that uh, I don't really want to go spend the money on that right now because they're pretty expensive. Um, so you can see I got shelving up here. It's kind of all clustered like I said, but uh, I of this power strip. There's some vents in here, so I ran the cord through down there at the bottom. So this power strip, I got a generator I can run outside for ice fishing. Um, I probably won't use electricity in here at all for deer hunting. Um, if I did, I could use a power inverter or something. Um, right down there on the bottom shelf, hook up a battery and run everything. So, uh, yeah, we got a TV mount up here, which the TV is in the ice castle right now. 
There's a digital uh, TV antenna, DVD player, uh, lanterns, rod holders, radios. We've got the thermometer. Got extra propane there on the bottom. It's got a big tank, 20 pound tank. I gotta tack up that hose yet. Runs over to here, which is way overkill for this. Even on the lowest setting, it heats it up a little too warm in here. It'll get between 70 and 80 on the lowest setting. Um, I got the fan here to blow the heat back down. This guy that I got it from, he had the, the heater mounted halfway up the wall here. Um, had like halfway up the windows in the middle there is where it was mounted. And then all that heat would rise and collect right there. And there was no fan in here, of course. And uh, I took all this the paneling down and stuff off the ceiling and the styrofoam on the on the ceiling was actually melted and like shrunk down like it was about to start a fire in here at some point but that guy wasn't the smartest guy in the world um yeah i got the map here um door is not the greatest because it doesn't really stay closed that tight i've been trying to rig it up to where it uh, seals tighter it's just fine, like I said, the heater though, it uh, works a little too well anyways. Even with the buddy heater, I got a buddy heater in here, but it's more practical. And uh, even that is almost overkill for in here. Um, yeah, I got these, these uh, muddy chairs in here too. I've got to take a couple of them out. I'm just going to use one in here for deer hunting. And then the other two are going to go out to different ground blinds. Um, I just got all my... Food plots put in this past weekend, which was a chore. I should have recorded it for you guys, but uh, it was kind of a miserable, very hot weekend, extremely humid, uh, getting bit up by horse flies and stuff. My wife and a buddy of mine helped me, uh, tilling everything up and then raking all the excess grass out and uh, putting the seed down anyways. So we got that down. <laughs> We've had rain all summer now that we need it. Who knows if it's going to come because now we've had a couple days where they said it's going to rain and it's, it hasn't really and it doesn't look like it's going to. Um, we do have a, another few days coming up here in the forecast where uh, it says we got like 40 something percent chance. So maybe, you know, even if we get a sprinkling, it'll help the, that seed germinate a little bit and get it started. Anyhow, that's the important part. The, otherwise, I think it'll be fine. Um, up here, I ran a cord over from that that uh, power strip and it's got these plug-in light bulbs that goes into another small power strip all you got to do is flip a switch turns on and off pretty slick and then uh, i got a lantern a uh, battery powered lantern here for backup plus the little propane lantern for backup should be a pretty awesome little shack anyhow uh, it should work really good for ice fishing and hunting but uh, i got a fix the water issue. I don't want to have to replace any more studs and more paneling in here. That makes me upset. Anyhow, so that's the that's the shack, you guys. Um, I hope you like it. Leave me a thumbs up on the video. Uh, comment down below if you're getting ready for deer hunting, ice fishing, all that stuff coming up. It's going to be here before too long. And uh, subscribe. We're coming out with new videos. We're, right now, you know, like I took a long break, but uh, right now we're going to do like one a week. I think. Um, and if you could watch them into their entirety, um, now that I'm kind of digging back into my channel, I realize that I'm not even getting paid for my videos anymore. I don't, uh, I no longer meet the requirements for the, the YouTube partnership program. So if you could, if you could watch them all into their, their entirety, I'm just a few hours short of, uh, being back in the partnership programs anyway. So that helps, uh, do the future videos here anyway. So thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you guys next time.